Stream the language. Randy Anderson back here again with you for part two of our hot spot that we have in Kansas and uh, involves Glenn Zink and I on this one. And if you didn't see part one, uh, it's a big old valley here, always coyotes there. And this is the second year. The first year we shot one, a whole year later, we go down to the same spot. And the first one, uh, we howl and the coyote stands up. But on this one, we're walking down the ridge. I'm setting up. Glenn took the alpha dog out there and coming back, we sat down. There's a coyote right out in front of us mousing around. But Glenn's going to get warmed up on a different kind of dog to start things out here. Okay, Glenn, I'm on him. It's a prairie dog. Nice shot, Glenn. <laughs> 141 yards. It was just a coyote, though. Yeah. Glenn, I see something on my side of the trail. And it would be? I think he had a big old healthy lunch just like we did. <laughs> What'd you do with them chips? Put them down here. Well, I want to bring them back out. <laughs> these are, tell you what, folks, uh, this isn't an ad. I ain't getting paid by Lay's, but these are the best chips going. <laughs> Lay's Kettle Cooked. How do you pronounce that, Glenn? Aged cheddar black pepper. Lattice? Oh, yeah, that's how I pronounce You're it. You're a carpenter, right? Lattice, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but them babies are good. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go get us a coyote here. Hopefully, down this trail, there's tracks. A lot of cow, cow manure. We're going to go over the hill here somewhere. Call one in. That is a plan. There's a big valley over here, Glenn. Way over the hill. Well, we just sat down here and Glenn spotted that coyote. He's out there about 500 and some yards, probably. And our question is, Glenn walked over there and set up the alpha dog. He walked down this hill, sat down. So you think he's seen us, Glenn? Surely he's seen us, yeah. didn't he? Huh? You'd sure think so. Unless he had his head down sleeping and he yeah, just woke up. Could have. Huh? Could have. Which way he's looking now? 566. He's still looking east. Oh, he's like not looking at him. All right. Last time Glenn shot one here, it was the exact same deal. Going to start with an interrogation howl and a double mouth howler. Looking now. Stands up. Sits down. If you've seen part one, remember that coyote came to the howls. Now I'm going to switch to little dog hand call and try it. That got the coyote's attention. He turned his head back towards us. <coughs> After a few minutes of waiting, it doesn't look like he's going to come into the howls. Now I'm going to go to stage two prey distress, do some cottontail distress on the third degree hand call. The coyote turns back around, faces us. Kind of made a quick move this way. Yeah. And here comes the coyote. Coming hard. Yeah. The previous howls we did, guy's attention, let him know there was a coyote right there. Now he thinks the coyote's got a rabbit. So now I start up the alpha dog on cottontail distress. He's going to find and come down the same trail the coyote did a year ago. Take your time, Glenn. Just squeeze the trigger. <laughs> I don't even see him again yet. Oh, he's clear going right. I'm on him. Oh, yeah, there he is. I lost him. Yeah. That's 
called calling him in going, now you tell me when you want to shoot it. Tell me when to bark. Man, look at that baby cow. Just don't get him, let him get too far right so I lose him. He's coming okay, ain't he? Yeah, yeah, he's coming hard. You gotta watch the wind. Looks like he just picked out the alpha dog on the tripod. You ready? Yep. I immediately hit a hot button set on coyote distress. Well, now we'll do a little pup serenade here, then we'll go to some coyote, hurt coyotes. This kind of settles down the coyotes, but he, that coyote was looking east a lot over here, like his buddy was around here somewhere. Now we got a coyote about 800 yards right straight across from us. I'm playing a female invitation howl on the alpha dog. And this coyote's also looking east, like there could be a coyote around the corner. The coyote's going to now lay down as they start stage three coyote pup distress. And lo and behold, around a hill to our right comes the coyote the previous two coyotes have been watching. How far do you think he is? 200. See him? Yeah. Coming right down the same trail. You tell me when you want to shoot. Right when he gets out of the grass, probably. Is he going to get out of the grass? Right, right now. Stop now, shoot. Oh, just behind you. Behind. Blast it. Yeah. Sorry, Randy. There he is, Glenn. Gone. Okay. Gone, Glenn. Huh. Scared the crap out of him, though. Dang. Huh? That happens a lot, though, folks, when you're watching another coyote. Sometimes that's why they don't come in. They're watching another one. You know, he kept looking east, remember? Yeah. And the one you shot looked east. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Glenn, how far was that prairie dog you shot? 141, <laughs> right? 141. That one there was one, how much? 153? 153, Randy. What was the first one? About 100? A little yeah. less, a little more? Yeah. 110 to 20. I can't tell exactly where it's at. Here we are in <laughs> middle of February, and this is Glenn's first time out this year. I can't get him to come with me. But here we are. We got a good one anyway. Yeah, we got one good one. Should have had two beautiful ones. Yeah. One twenty-three. A nice fuzzy little female coyote. Just like you got the last time here. Yeah. Looks pretty good. She looks pretty clean. All right. We we're sitting in a perfect spot too. Right in the shade. I couldn't hardly see you at all. Yeah. We're facing the uh, north. And the alpha dog is right where the wind's coming. From there right to us out of the northwest. And all them coyotes circled right around this way. Okay, Glenn. Good job. Another Kansas coyote down. Glen Zink calling all coyotes. <laughs> well, old Glenn felt kind of bad. He missed that one. We all miss. He's human just like the rest of us. I miss. We all miss. We don't give up. We keep on going. And uh, so that was pretty interesting. And we even went to uh, went stage one, stage two, went to stage three, coyote distress, and got that third one to come in. And we, we really even keep calling after that a lot of the time. We just don't show up if nothing comes in. So um, now uh, we got part three coming up here uh, on our next deal, next time you see me. And this one, we're actually going to have to call a coyote in. Part one, there was a coyote out there that stood up after we howled. Part two, there's already one there. Did he see us or not? Get it to come in, plus a buddy. Now we're actually on uh, 
part three will be interesting. You're going to actually get a coyote to come in, but he gets to jump on it. So see you next time.